Hello everyone, Vincent Hill from HDTV Test here. I'm joined over Microsoft Teams by Mr. Marek Machowski, who is the Product Development Director at TCL Europe. And you can probably see beside him, there is a new really big television. Hello Marek, can you please introduce the TV to our viewers? Hello Vincent, nice to see you after a bit of uh, long time and then welcome from Berlin. Uh, in Berlin we start introduction of our uh, 221 uh, new 8K products. Uh, behind me you see 85X95 Pro. I think uh, mini LED Marvel we can say, the product is very slim. Uh, we have 5 millimeters thickness of the screen and then it's made of uh, around 100,000 of blue LEDs uh, behind the uh, LCD screen. Can I clarify whether this is using the OD0 technology that you were talking about at CES earlier this year? Yes, this product is using OD0 technology. OD0 means that there is no uh, space, optical distance is zero between LCD panel and uh, a uh, mini LED backlight we have uh, on the back. So that's why we are able to achieve this uh, super thin screen. Given that it is basically your flagship product, I understand it only comes in one screen size of 85 inches. How many local dimming zones have you managed to implement on this flagship product? Uh, in this product, as I said, we have close to 100,000 blue LEDs and we group them in more than 2,000 dimming zones. Uh, we have VA panel in the front. VA means that uh, we have very high uh, contrast, native contrast of the panel. Uh, and then, of course, we have quantum dot enhancement film uh, in between for color performance. I saw from your press conference that there is also more than 100% color volume because of the quantum dot technology that you have actually put in there. I mean, how much over 100% you know, DCI-P3, presumably, that you are covering? Uh, well, you know that uh, it's on one side, uh, there, are, there are claims about 100% of color volume, but uh, if you look on REC uh, 2020, uh, so we uh, try to uh, cover more uh, REC 2020. Uh, I think uh, here we are on the way to reach 85% uh, of uh, the coverage. And what is the measured peak brightness of this TV, you know, at D65 white point? Uh, generally, and uh, L20, right now what you see is uh, still uh, the late prototype, uh, which uh, is uh, still uh, under development and uh, we have uh, still a bit of work on the software. Uh, but uh, peak brightness at L20 is uh, defined as 1800, which means that if you uh, touch this TV and measure, uh, you will see uh, brightness above uh, 2000 nits uh, for uh, smaller uh, areas. That's certainly very impressive and you know, I'm a big fan of really high peak brightness displays. But given that it has 8K panel resolution, you know, one concern that I have and one concern that many people will have is that with the newer EU regulations, you know, after the 1st of March 2023, 8K products no longer have exemption from the type of energy rating that is allowed onto the market. Have you had any thoughts about that? Well, uh, by 1st of March 2023, we know that uh, all products will be subject to 0 0.9 energy efficiency and there will be, as you said, exemption from it. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, we still have uh, uh, some time, more than one year, to uh, further, for, for further improvements and uh, to work on power consumption. And generally, uh, this uh, uh, regulation will be more difficult for smaller sizes, uh, 8K TV sets, but uh, in larger sizes, uh, it uh, uh, won't be uh, so tough for products. Okay. What are its HDMI 2.1 capabilities? Because I think with 8K, you know, content, you will probably require some sort of HDMI 2.1 functions on your HDMI ports. Uh, this TV set is made with uh, 8K native 120 panel, so there are not all products which are on the market today made with uh, 8K 120 panel. Here we have native uh, 8K 120 on HDMI 2.1. Uh, we go up to uh, 48 uh, G uh, with uh, stream compression for 8K uh, content. 
So uh, formally, uh, the chipset uh, which is used here is listed as uh, 8K120, but you know right now there are no sources, and uh, uh, so I cannot just uh, tell you that uh, I verified by myself. Uh, the moment I will be able, will be able to verify. Uh, refresh rates above uh, 60, I will tell you, but uh, uh, according to the chipset specification, uh, the product should be able to meet 8K HFR. When it comes to 8K TVs, another concern of many potential buyers would be the availability of native 8K content. What sort of native 8K content can you watch on your TCL-X925 Pro? Uh, today you have uh, on the one side access uh, to YouTube content. On YouTube you have uh, some of uh, very good uh, 8K content. We also use uh, right now uh, a demo which is uh, native 8K YouTube. Uh, of course on YouTube you can also find content uh, which is called 8K but it is uh, fake 8K. Uh, then uh, you have uh, HDMI uh, as a source product. Uh, technically is compatible with uh, streaming uh, uh, on, in H, uh, 8K, H.265 and AV1. Uh, so uh, when uh, first services will be available, streaming services, so this uh, will also work. And uh, then if you ask uh, what next for 8K, so I think uh, uh, there are already other sources like uh, games you can play uh, if you use uh, NVIDIA RTX uh, 3090, so you can play a Flight Simulator, you have uh, play Call of Duty, you can play Cyberpunk, all of them can reach uh, 8K and you see a lot of details. So gaming on one side and then I think uh, uh, still there is a lot of content, uh, which is film content, which can be scanned for the, in the future and then deliver 8K uh, quality, like for example uh, 70 millimeters uh, films. Besides this flagship TCL X925 Pro, you also unveil the X925 at your global press conference today. Can you give us some details about these TVs? Uh, X925 uh, is a 8K 120Hz native product with mini LED backlight. Uh, here uh, we have 65 inch and uh, 75 inch. Uh, product will come soon to the market and by I think end of the year you should uh, also see them in uh, UK. Uh, in terms of specification, we uh, on HDR side we support Dolby Vision IQ and you know that the key benefit of Dolby Vision IQ is that it uh, solves uh, the dark uh, content problem, or let's say dark room. Uh, problem and then the content adapts uh, to the light uh, in uh, the ambient light and then has uh, other improvements. Uh, then uh, product comes also with in Europe uh, will be with Google TV and in UK uh, we will uh, keep Android TV due to Freeview Play uh, presence uh, in the product. And on the sound side it is Dolby Atmos together with Onkyo Soundbar on connectivity full HDMI 2.1, uh, same platform as uh, in the product uh, I have behind. In terms of peak brightness you might ask, uh, we talk about uh, 1000 nits and then in terms of uh, dimming zones, uh, so just to anticipate your question, uh, 65 inch uh, with uh, 160 zones and 75 with 240 zones, which we believe is sufficient uh, with combination of uh, VA panel. Great stuff. I mean, you already anticipated all my questions, but Listening to you describe the differences between the UK models and also the European models, you know, one point that, you know, a few of my viewers have brought up is that, you know, the TCLC 825, which we have discussed in our previous interview, apparently the UK model is getting a different specification. It doesn't actually have HDMI 2.1 and that caused quite a lot of confusion. So I think there are two model numbers, C825 and C826. Can you please clarify once and for all for our viewers? Uh, so, uh, Vincent, when we created product for Europe and for UK, our commercial team in the UK insisted on Freeview Play to be part of the product. 
and then uh, by uh, delivering uh, Freeview Play in uh, the platform we use in Europe, it would signif significantly uh, delay introduction of the product. So the team decided to go uh, with uh, existing uh, platform, which uh, on uh, HDMI 2.1 and uh, on Dolby version is slightly different. Uh, so UK product is uh, with Dolby Vision, European with Dolby Vision IQ, and on HDMI uh, European product is with 2.1 full uh, 48 uh, uh, giga, and then so we have two HDMI 2.1 as you call it, and two uh, to zero. In European we uh, support UHD 120 Dolby Vision VRR, we just released software update with it. And in UK version, uh, uh, support goes up to UHD 60 right now, and uh, still we uh, look on uh, 1440 uh, 120 SDR to be also available. So this is due to uh, platform differences, but uh, in terms of motion performance, uh, both are native 100 Hz products. Uh, in terms of uh, peak brightness, both are uh, reaching uh, the same peak brightness. I understand now why the differences, but I think it is very disappointing news for my UK viewers, and I think they may feel misled that you know even though with the same model number we can actually lose out on HDMI 2.1 and I think I speak for many of the UK potential buyers who want to buy into the TCL brand that you know I think we would rather have the HDMI 2.1 TV rather than Freeview Play. Well, this I recognize and then uh, good that you say it. So then uh, our commercial team uh, in charge of UK uh, will be able to see it. Uh, I have a similar view, uh, but uh, then right now, okay, we have uh, this kind of situation and then uh, I do believe that uh, we will be able to uh, resolve it uh, next year, but at least we are crystal clear on the specification. Technically, European product uh, works uh, in UK well. Uh, then uh, the only part which is missing is, uh, in this case, uh, Freeview Play, which is a significant development effort. I think, you know, Marek, my point is there's no way for UK buyers to buy an HDMI 2.1 TV from TCL with had a full warranty. I think that is the point that they are making and I hope that this will be addressed in the future. And let's say if you wanted to send a review sample of the TCL C825 to me, will you send me the UK model or will you send me the European model? You know, I don't even know. Uh, well, Vincent, so then it's up to you. I can send you both, but uh, uh, looking on the uh, your desired specification, uh, so then uh, the best for you is the European model and uh, looking also on the traffic you have. So then, uh, of course, we can also provide you UK version. You can have both and then uh, you can test uh, both and uh, list uh, differences and then once for all to be crystal clear and as you are the Bible uh, of all the testers uh, worldwide, uh, so everyone trusts you. You will be the one uh, like uh, Supreme Court uh, saying what is uh, included, what is not included. Thank you very much, Marek. And I think, you know, one final question, I think because we are running out of time for our next appointments, but can you give us a status update on your QD OLED roadmap? Uh, I think I anticipated all your questions. Uh, so uh, <laughs> you read my mind, man. You read my mind. <laughs> it's, you are you are amazing. Uh, well, uh, we talked last year. Uh, then yes, uh, it was the plan, and then uh, in fact, uh, pandemic impact on the industry was already starting. On the one side, we had booming market. On another side, we had uh, a lot of uh, changes, also with chips sh sh shortages and uh, some uh, uh, revised decisions for uh, future uh, products. Uh, so on TCL side, we stay committed to printed OLED panels. The factory, we just uh, start to build uh, end of 220. And uh, the project we continue uh, for factory to be open by uh, end of 223, 224. And uh, with uh, QD OLED sourced uh, from uh, one of uh, the QD OLED uh, vendors, uh, uh, for the time being, uh, we shelved uh, this uh, project and we might come back to it uh, in the uh, near future. So that is crystal clear then that you, know, you are not pursuing QD OLED now, 
but you're pursuing your own printed OLED and in the meantime, your flagship TV is going to be based on mini LED technology. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you, Marek, for all your time and for your honesty. And, you know, I'm sorry to put you in a spot today, you know, to try and clarify some things. But I think, you know, with your honesty and transparency, I think it is important for us to try and clear the air as to the confusion over the UK and European model differences. And you should have a good product, you know, on your hands. But, you know, I'm, again, not entirely sure whether the UK will be able to see it at some point this year. Well, but, you know, step by step, we will uh, fix it. Uh, it's, uh, sometimes I can say, if you take my seat and uh, look on the world from my side, and then on uh, all the complexities of Europe, uh, UK, and also complexities of uh, Dolby Vision, uh, I really like your video comparing uh, Dolby Vision Gaming and HDR Gaming, but I hope uh, one day we will see in uh, Poland with my technical team and then we will be able also to tell you how Dolby Vision looks like from our perspective. And uh, the world is slightly more complicated than uh, the one we just see on screens. But you do a really great job in challenging everyone and then being the supreme court of uh, the product specification. You just brought up a point, you know, and I caught you saying that your product, the European model of the TCL C825, actually supports UHD 120 VRR in Dolby Vision. Is that did I hear it wrongly, or is that correct? Yeah, you you heard correctly. So then uh, it's uh, it's done, and then you know that the, all the mess is around ETID management. But uh, this is already done, and then as I said, uh, Kalman is uh, also Kalman Rede was announced. Your another lovely area. Uh, and uh, with uh, 3D uh, support and uh, then so uh, products uh, can go into your hands and you can say wh what you think and you can uh, publish your uh, video saying that product is either great or up to you, how you would call it. If you manage to achieve that using the MediaTek chipset, you know, I'm just going to be saying that I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised. Uh, well, I think, you know, uh, there was a lot of uh, bad understanding and b bad comments uh, about uh, the story, but uh, I do believe that uh, uh, someone, uh, some bugs uh, left uh, and uh, then uh, it's uh, uh, honestly, as uh, we discussed in the past, uh, we tested um, all products um, according to your advice. Okay, I look forward to, you know, seeing it and testing it myself one day. Thank you, Marek, for your time. Great. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.